Hello and welcome. I am Papa Wolf and today we are going to take a look at how to build an automatic honey and honeycomb farm. I have already built it here on uh, the multiplayer server Papa's Hermit where I play and uh, you can see more of this in my latest Let's Play video. But uh, let's take a look at how we built one of these that you can see 16 of here behind me. Here we are in my testing world and let's have a look at the things we need to build the automatic honey and honeycomb farm. We have here, we need 11 glass, 8 oat planks or building blocks of some kind, a dispenser, 4 hoppers, a repeater, a comparator, 5 redstone dust, 2 chests, a grass block, some kind of flower and a bee nest with bees in it. And of course, to get the bees, we need a campfire and uh, some kind of tool with silk touch. And uh, to harvest uh, the honey and honeycomb, we need glass bottles for honey and shears for honeycomb. And then of course, I'll need some scaffolding to build this uh, thing since I'm doing it in survival. Right, let's start off with the uh, chest to pick up the honey and honeycomb and we we'll put in two hoppers and one more to this one and this is where we'll place uh, the grass block and here we'll place the bee nest then we will put in a structure block here one here and three more and on top of this is where the bee nest will go and we need need to take a signal from that or we need to take an output from that with a redstone comparator and then we put on a couple of redstone dust and some glass here and and from here we'll put one more glass it's, it's important it's glass because uh, a full block will uh, block the redstone line here but now we have the redstone line going up from this one over here and up here now for the next two just a couple of full blocks and then we will need to put it put in the dispenser pointing downwards like this and then a block for the signal to input so we have one more redstone dust and a repeater to input the signal. Right, the last hopper is for the dispenser. And also a chest here to put in the, the glass bottles and the shears. Now you can choose to either make only shears or only bottles or combination. What you do is uh, what de uh, decides if you get uh, uh, if you get honey or honeycomb. The bottle will give honey, and shears will give honeycomb. Now I put in only one stack, but you need to fill up this uh, dispenser to be sure that it will uh, dispense the right thing. All right, then we need to block the bees from getting out. And we put in the, oh, here, you put in the dirt, and we might as well put in the flower already. And then the last three glass blocks. And then we not need to get up here. And here we have, this is where the bee nest will go, and it will be blocked for the bees. So they, they can only get to this block, the flower. Let's put in the bee nest and it's still uh, daytime so they will get out and I believe it's full with honey already so we should hear either a bottle or a shears and here they are 
I believe it. No, not yet. So it was not full, but it will be. And you can see the bees will uh, take uh, pollen or whatever it is from the uh, flower, and they will go to the bee nest and make some honey. And we will here be able to see that the signal gets stronger as more honey comes into the bee nest. We'll just wait a moment. And we have uh, some honey in the nest. See here, it's uh, a strength signal strength of one. So it will take a bit more. Oh, we have a signal strength of two. Soon we should have three. And uh, yeah, we'll just have to wait for the signal strength to get to five. And once we have a signal strength of five, the dispenser will be activated and the shears will get us honeycomb, bottles will give us honey. And here you have uh, the full design. This is where you should uh, pause the video if you want to build your own. Did you pause the video? <laughs> no problem. And we are back at the uh, multiplayer survival server to have a look at uh, the setup I have made here. And this is how it looks from the top. We have uh, signals coming from all the bee nests here and it should not, or it rather, it will not interfere since it needs a signal strength of five to uh, activate the dispenser and with it will only get f a single strength of five when this this exact bee nest is full with honey and this stacking like this has uh, the advantage of uh, of saving space so you need only blocks either side and uh, yeah well you could make it even longer. The problem, however, is that the bees will start to travel a bit too far from their uh, own nest and they will get in each other's way. So I recommend a maximum of eight. Now, I hope this uh, gave you an idea, idea how to build your own automatic honey and honeycomb farm. It was a pleasure seeing you and I hope to see you back again and remember to hit subscribe if you want to see more videos from me with either how to build things or to follow what I built in the survival multiplayer world, Papa's Hermits. Thank you for joining me. Have a nice day. Bye.